So today I made this incredibly good oatmeal. It was the best oatmeal I've ever had in my entire life. I'm going to call this my delicious muscle building oatmeal recipe. And just for a frame of reference, I live in Bend, Oregon, and it's wintertime right now, and it was 5 degrees today. This is the coldest day that I've ever seen here since I've lived here. I've lived here for five years, and today it was five degrees. So this recipe is not for someone that you know lives in the tropics, somewhere warm. I recommend this if you're somewhere cold, you want to get warm, or if maybe you're looking to you know build muscle or even gain some weight. So this is a heavier recipe. Uh, this is something you want to just have you know, like on occasion, I don't re recommend having something like this all the time because it is definitely heavier. So I used one cup of organic steel cut oats. You can use any oats you want. You can use rolled oats, whatever, but I used the steel cut. Um, those are my favorite. I cooked them in an instant pot. I used one cup, which is like four servings. I used one cup of almond milk and one cup of water. That's what you put in there. Then you set the instant pot to high pressure and then you put it at four minutes. So that's all you do is you put the steel cut oats, one cup, one cup water, one cup almond milk, high pressure in your instant pot for four minutes. Let it do its, let it do its thing. And then after it does its thing, you let it set for 10 minutes. So four minutes and then 10 minutes setting. Here are the oats, what they look like after. And what I did is I added a serving of dark chocolate, vegan dark chocolate. Then I put on a serving of crushed walnuts, which is a quarter cup. Then I added two sliced bananas. Next, I added four medjool dates, and I just chopped them up in little pieces. And then I added on a few sprinkles of cinnamon, and then I also added two tablespoons of peanut butter. This is just one big spoonful, which was like two tablespoons. And then I added on kind of a splash of almond milk on top just so it wasn't so dry. And then I just stirred it all up and this was the final product. And this was just incredibly good. Now, I'm also going to go over the nutrition facts of this. Now, what you could do is you can make this. I ate the whole thing, but it's a lot. So what you can do is you can split this in half. You can either cut the recipe in half or you can have half of it and give the other half to somebody else. But if you eat this whole entire thing, which was not hard for me to do, it was 1,656 calories, 260 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, and 36 grams of fiber. So again, it's heavier, it was super delicious, and that was it. Try it out, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you have a great day, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon, bye-bye.